What's up everyone and welcome back to my Red Bull Leipzig career. Last time out, we finally did it. We won the title. Don't know how it happened, but throughout the whole entire season, we've managed to do it. We have won the title. We've won the Bundesliga. Somehow in the end by seven points, which is very pleasing. First of all, today we're just going to clean up and clear up a couple of things, including youth players that we want to promote, players and contracts and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get into that right now. First thing from today, we actually got 37 million, nearly 38 million from winning the Bundesliga, which is very good. Also, Leipzig come through to us to say that they are extremely happy that we have accomplished one of our exposure goals, which I think for us was actually to avoid relegation. And we've done that one as well, brand exposure. Haven't done youth development yet. We can keep on going for it though. Domestic success, we've done all of those, even the long-term one, and yeah, we've pretty much done everything, hence why we have a rating of 90. So to get our final objective, we need to improve our youth players, I think by an overall of 10, I'm not sure if that's each or overall as an actual player, like each one added up. So now, just for these training sessions, before we go to the end of the season, I'm just going to simulate all of them, hopefully get these players up as much as we possibly can, meaning that we can meet that sponsorship objective. We've just had word that Francisco Tavares wants out. I believe at the end of the season, we might actually lose our youth academy or the players that are in there. I think that is what happened before. If not, they... Sh well, I don't know, actually. Maybe they carry over to next year. I'm not 100% sure. So, Francisco Tavares wants out. To be fair, I can't actually even sign him up yet. Oh, we have two. Uh, it might be that one. I think it's that Francisco Tavares. I'm not actually going to do anything with him at the moment. In terms of players I will bring up, Carlos Linz definitely go into off a contract. Hopefully he'll join up. Future first team player for sure. It's going to be number 99, which is interesting. So we'll offer him a contract. I think the others we might leave for the moment. Roth, we can't bring him up, but I would say that we will once he gets better because he's got a max potential of 94. Probably similarly with this Francisco Tavares. He'll probably come up and... Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm sure we'll get an email before the end of the season notifying us about it, but we're just going to leave it for the moment. Just got a good bit of news, and it says that Carlos Linz has accepted the contract, so he'll be joining up with the squad anytime soon. In terms of the other players that want out, it's literally just Francisco Tavares. He keeps on pestering us, or it might be the two of them. I imagine it's only the one. So we're not going to do anything at the moment. We're still going to leave it, do another training session here. Just load in the previous one. Hopefully come out with a decent level of performance again so that our players can improve. Not as good this time, but still improvements it is, so that's all good. Okay, so just looking through our youth squad, our reports come through and Alexander Roth has updated on his stats and he's now between 87 and 93 potential, which is absolutely incredible. I want to sign him up as quick as we possibly can. So hopefully that happens before the end of the season, or at least this youth squad gets taken through to next year, because otherwise we could lose a ridiculously high potential player. Okay, so we've got our final training session of the year. We're just going to simulate it. Hopefully we'll come out with some decent results this time. And not exactly fantastic, but our players have improved quite a bit. And that actually brings us, as you'll be able to see, to the end of the season. I'm just going to have a quick look to see if we got the youth development. And we actually didn't. We reached 86%. So, okay. So we had to improve three individual players by an overall of 10. That is actually quite hard to do. So, yeah. it's that, That's a difficult one. But it doesn't matter too much. We basically got everything else. As you can see, we're up to 89 rating overall as a manager. We won the cup. So, it's time to jump into our new season. Okay, so after that brief intermission, here we are. We are back at the start of the new season. And, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got a few emails to start off with. We'll find out our transfer budget, maybe, or that'll be in a little while. I might just be able to go and have a quick look at it now. Uh, and our transfer budget is 42 million, which is very nice. I was thinking maybe we could have got a tiny bit more. I know that might seem a bit much, but considering the wages around, I think that's 70,000. I, 
think straight away we are going to jump into a training session. Just We're going to chuck a load of youth players on for this pre-season at least. I think our youth squad has stayed, and it has, which is nice to see. So, yeah, we're going to do this. I'll sort this out, and we'll be back in just a minute. Just simulated that training session. We've put a bit more of an emphasis on Carlos Linz and Alexander Roth. Roth actually didn't improve at all, I don't think, but Linz went up to a 63, which is a good start. Stefan Brandt's nearly up to a 71 as well, which is good to see. In terms of our squad this year, we've actually lost quite a few players. Uh, we still have a very big squad though because Massimo, Bruno and Nukan have both returned. Now that Linz has come to the squad, that does pad it out a little bit. Uh, I think I'm probably going to try and sell off a couple of players. Yanelt, I might loan him out. Similarly with maybe Torre and Feshner, I'm going to say, this year. Uh, Palacios Martinez as well. Damari can probably be sold. So we're going to have a big change around this year. There's a couple of players that I do want to bring in as well. Um, I'm going to try and go for Yuri Telemans, I think, just to bolster the midfield a little bit. And I'm also going to look over at Monaco. I think there is uh, Kylian Mbappé. He might be quite a good purchase as well. So I'm going to have a look for them. And I might place a couple of bids in. We've just been invited into a pre-season tournament. So we're going to advance to the invites. We're going to go for the one with the most amount of prize money, as we would, because that will go towards our transfer budget. Some of the teams in here, we've got Nice, Malaga, I think that's Udinese maybe, bottom right, uh, Stade Rene, Florentina, Roma. So I think we're going to go for that. shouldn't be too hard, actually, and it's a decent amount of money as well. We've actually just received a transfer offer for Timo Werner. 23 million from Borussia Dortmund. I'm afraid I'm going to reject that. He's a very good player for us. His pace is incredible, so I don't really want to sell him. In other news, this is our big old signing. Laurent Koscielny has joined the club. What a signing that was. We managed to pick him up on a pre-contract last year. Some of you may have forgotten about him. Uh, I'm not sure if he's already joined in. And there he is on the bench, an 85. That's fantastic for us. He can slot straight in behind Jonathan Tarr. This is almost the ultimate centre-back partnership. All right, so we're just going through our club list here. Uh, a couple of players have come in. I think we're going to loan out quite a few of them, to be honest. Um, I'll also put them on the transfer list as well. Um, in terms of other players, I don't think there's too much. We already had a couple on there from last year. Uh, Redmond is still out on a two-year loan, so this is the second year of that for him. And I think at the moment we'll leave it at that. I may even loan out Brandt later on in the season. Or maybe not Brandt, uh, Carlos Linz, who we've just brought in. Uh, may loan him out, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so we've just made a couple of inquiries. Yuri Tielemans, I went straight for him. I think everybody knows who Yuri Tielemans is. Fantastic potential. I didn't realise he was at Lokomotiv Moscow. He must have moved last year, because I'm pretty sure in real life he's still at Anderlecht. So... Hopefully, we'll be able to get him for a reasonable amount. He'll be very good into the team. Also, Gabby Goals, Gabriel Barbosa. Didn't realise he was actually in the game either. I don't think he was earlier on in the year. But he's at Inter Milan. Didn't really get played too much in real life. If you look at his stats there, it looks absolutely incredible. We're scouting him. We've sent off an inquiry. So I'm going to see what happens when they come back. Also, there's Kylian Mbappé. And pretty much this guy, you also may or may not know about him. He's kind of been dubbed as the new Thierry Henry. I know it happens quite a lot at Monaco with any French young forwards. But from what I've seen of him, he does look pretty decent. He's left wing on here, but obviously he can play up front as well. That's where he usually does play. So there's always him as well. Locomotive Moscow have come back to us about Yuri Tielemans and they actually want 25 million which seems like a lot of money. As you know, I'm never willing to pay that amount. So the first amount I'm going to inquire is 16 and a half. That is quite a lot less, 9 million. But ideally, they'll accept it. And to be fair, we don't actually know his rating at the moment. So I'm going to wait possibly till the scout report comes through. But for the moment, it's going to be 16 and a half million. Inter Milan have come back and they want 36 and a half million for Gabriel Barbosa. That is definitely very unlikely. We're going to let you go down and offer like 18. They're not going to accept it, but they'll, well, they might possibly drop down the value that they want. I'm imagining that he's got a very good rating in this game because of that valuation, but we'll just have to wait and see until that scout report comes in. Kylian Mbappé has, well, had the inquiry come back, we have from Monaco at least, and they only want 6 million. Uh, I think he's only around a 72, 73, but obviously we can train him up over time. 
to be fair, I like six million is reasonable, but we're actually going to pay less than that. We're going to bid three and a half to start off with and work our way up there because any money we can save will definitely be a bonus. As expected, we were going to have a lot of offers for Gianluigi Donnarumma in this window. The first one's come through and it's from Dortmund for 33 million. I'm afraid we're not going to accept that. He's only 18 years old and he's already rated 33, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to reject that one as well from Hamburg. All right, so first match of the season. It's in our preseason tournament and I can't remember what it's called. The European International Cup, I believe. So this is our team that we've got. We're definitely going to bring youth into this side. At the end of the last season, Selka came back. I believe we're fully refreshed in terms of all of our players. Koscielny will be starting at centre-back. And yeah, we might actually also go for a left-back if we've got any money in the transfer window left over after our players because we don't actually have another left-back. I know we do. We've got Anthony Young back now. So that's quite a good idea. So... Yeah, we're, we're going to bring probably... Who should we bring up? I don't even know. Uh, wherever Brandt's gone. We're going to bring Brandt up onto the bench for this one. Um, we are going to start... In fact, we're, we're going to start off with this main team and then go on from there. And I've just realised I've taken out Koscielny, which was an accident. Uh, we'll bring Koscielny on the bench. He can start on the bench for his first game. Welcome to the start of the European International Cup, the first group stage game of this pre-season tournament. Yeah, and these tournaments, much more of a big deal these days. Alright, first game of our whole entire season, European International Cup up against Nice. Going to be trying out a few new players later on, so it'll be good to see how they get on. Oh, and we're losing in six minutes. Let's get that out. Oh my, how? We're losing 2 0 already. I thought Brent had that. Maybe we should have played Kashelny after all. Let's get going down this wing with Dembele. We need to get back into this straight away. Oh, I thought it was going to be a lovely turn by Forsberg there. Really opening up the goal. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, just got in the way right at the end there. Good defending, to be fair to them. Nice work by Sanchez there. Forsberg is free over on this wing. Let's get that shot off. Oh, how did we miss? Should have been a goal for sure. Alright, Davy Selka's on. We've gone to a bit more of an attacking shape. We're at 4 2 2 2 now. Yeah, 3 2s. And yeah, so we're playing two strikers. Um, I'm hoping it might help us out a little bit here. Nice little turn there by Selka. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. 2 1. We're back in this. Sabitz has just scored. Thinking I'm going to freshen up with a few new faces in just a minute. To be fair, we may as well go on all-out attack. It's only a friendly competition, so it doesn't really matter if we lose, but obviously it would be nice to get off to a decent start in this pre-season. That's a good tackle by Brandt there. Unless we can get something here. Not sure if Selk is going to be faster here. Oh, but he can get through there. Okay, okay, okay. This is a chance. Good chance. Oh, how did that go so wide? Selka should be ashamed with that one. Look at that. Wasn't even close. All right, Bailey's going on a rampage and run through the middle, only to be tackled like you saw. Kaita's wanted back for us. We're pretty much in the last minutes of the game. We can get Selka through. Not quite. I think that's going to be the end for sure. 
there we have it. We lost our first game. Uh, it was only against Nice in a pre-season tournament, so it wasn't too bad. I think it's a group knockout stage like it is usually, so as long as we win our other two games, I imagine we should be able to find a way through to the next round. After that match, we received a transfer offer for Sabitza. It's only 12 million, which is, I think, quite offended by that, actually. I think he's at least worth, well, at least worth about 15, for sure. Possibly even more, because he's only 23. So, thank you very much, but we are going to reject that Florentina. Got a couple more transfer offers, and it's for Palacios Martinez. It's only 250,000, but to be fair, he'll be off the wage bill, so we're going to accept that. And the other one is for Nils Kwashner. I think that's how you say it. 975,000, pretty much his value. Once again, we're going to accept that. I think Mbapp's going to be coming in, so that's another striker on the books at least. Turns out Locomotive Moscow don't want to pay, or don't want us to pay, less than 25 million. So, I'm not really sure what to do. I might up it to... 18 and a half, or 19 and a half for the moment. We'll see what they say from that. Then, as I would have expected, Inter rejected our bid for Gabriel Barbosa. I think we're going to leave that there for him, at least. And then, Bat, they rejected our bid of three and a half million. Uh, I think I'm going to up it to 4.75. We obviously could play six, but we want to get it lower if we can. So, we'll send that off now. Okay, so now we're here for our second game of the day. Most likely our last game of the day as well because we've done so much other transfer business and it's up against Malaga. Ideally, we do need to win this to really have any chance of getting through to the next round of this tournament. Um, if we don't, we, we possibly could draw and get through but we'd have to rely on other results as well. So I think we'll leave it like that for the moment. In terms of the starting 11... Uh, if I can find Laurent Koscielny. I think he's actually already in the team. He's going to start today. Um, Schmitz can start. Auburn can start alongside Koscielny. Um, we're going to go for a lot of rotation. Anthony Young can start as well. Bruno can make his way onto the bench instead of uh, Selka. I think that's who I took out there maybe. Um, or it might have been Dembele. And then for our other players, I think... Maya, Maya, I think Maya said he actually did want to start this game, or at least play, so I'm actually going to start him. Um, if we need to, we could bring on Bruno to go as an attacking midfielder. That's what I did, I think, on the last game at least. Um, and other than that, I think we are relatively good. Linz is sitting there at the moment. I might loan him out. I think that's what I'm going to do this year. Maybe as well with Concert Chow, but we're going to leave it like that for the game. So let's get into it. Alright, so this is actually a pretty good opportunity for us to uh, give a run out to a lot of our youngsters, see what they can do. Might even be able to uh, push one or two people out the main team. Anthony Young back in the team after season out on loan. Uh, to be fair, we actually did need him because we didn't have any cover for um, Hausenberg, so that's been quite useful. Uh, I don't think anyone else that's come back on loan is playing today. I think it was only... Oh no, sorry, we are. We're playing Bruno or he's on the bench, I think. Come on, Paulson. That's nice. It just seemed to be going up, up and up. I don't know if Burke's got the pace and he has. Good save by the keeper. It's a tight angle though for us. That was a good ball by them. Good goal actually. Straight through the middle of us. Our defence just opened wide up. Okay, there we go. Come on, Paulson. You are free, my friend. This is your chance. There we go. One all. Nice little goal by Yusuf Paulson there. Just slotted it opposite corner. Very nice indeed. Oh, I saw Sanchez going through. Oh, oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. I thought Sanchez was in. Right, 
Bruno is there. Can he get a shot off? Oh, he can. Welcome back, Massimo Bruno. Come on, Brunt. Get across, get across. Top class tackle. And it was actually Young. Thought it was Stefan Brunt. Even though I don't even uh, I can't even remember if Stefan Brunt's actually playing. I don't know what I'm on about. Second game of the day down. That's one win and one defeat now. We're definitely back in this preseason tournament. I'm still pretty confident we can get through. Alright, so first things first. We've got a couple of emails after that game. One of them, again, Yuri Telemans. I think we bid 18.5 million and they didn't want to accept it. We're just going to up it to 21 now. It's getting quite a lot. That will only leave us with 11 million left, but there is a lot of wage budget, so that will convert to quite a bit of transfer money. Also, uh, some players were sold. Palacios Martinez and Niles Koshner, if I can ever say that name right. At least I don't need to anymore. Also, Sabitza, another time we're going to reject because basically we just don't want to sell him. Mbappé has accepted. I'm not still not sure about his rating, but I'm just going off of what I know. So we're going to do that. Uh, well, he'll be a squad rotation player for sure. We don't need to offer him anything else. And four years, we can offer that. Hopefully, he'll be joining up with the team very soon. After a few days, that brings us up to our final match of the tournament. Well, depending on if we win or lose against Spartak Moscow. It's the final game of the group stages and as long as we can get a half decent result, we should be able to get through to the next round. We're actually going to leave it there for today. I hope you did enjoy. We're at the start of the second season. We're going to be flying through these episodes. I hope everyone feels, you know, a little bit better that we're starting to get some consistency here. Three episodes within a decent amount of time. So it's definitely a good start from here. We're going to keep on uploading Hope you guys do enjoy. Drop a like as I said if you do. Leave me any comments telling me what you think I should do with regards to transfers, who you think I should sell or maybe loan out and any other targets you think I should bring in. Like I'm definitely open to that. I'm possibly looking at a left back, maybe another substitute goalkeeper like we saw Albin Lafont before. So he could be an idea. Um, on the left back situation, I'm not sure about Anthony Young because he does seem to attack a lot and he always gets caught out at least so either another spare backup left back or kind of someone new to go into the first team so yeah let me know about that drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all on the next video